Good after evening. Good out. Good evening. I'm looking outside the, the window right there. It's getting to be the evening here in California. Good evening, everybody. Joe for JaspiesHobbyLand.com with our last break tier of 2018 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball four box random team break number nine from JaspiesHobbyLand.com. The final third of this case. Big thanks to these folks who got into the action right here. Let's double you up. And there's the Tigers Rays combo team, and then of course the other spot at the very bottom. And let's randomize each list. Four and a one, five times. One, names first, two, three, four, and a one, five times. After five times, we've got Dylan on the pole and Alan Murdoch in the 30 spot. And then five times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. After five times, we've got the Brew Crew on top and the Gigantes on the bottom. All right, Dylan with the Brew Crew. Rich, you got the Tribe, the Metropolitans for Mario, the Bronx Bombers for Eric, the Buckos for Lucas, the Nats for Ed, Rory with the just the Royals, right, I guess? Kansas City Royals. Rory with the Dodgers, Bo Sox for Patrick, O's for Lucas, Fightin' Phils for Rory, Bravos for Eric, the Tigers and Rays, Red Legs for Patrick K, the Rocks for Allen, the Snakes for John Oakray with one of his last spot mojos, and Walker, Texas Ranger, with your other last spot mojo, the Redbirds for Patrick. Mar, you got the Bluebirds. The Friars for Ed. Amber, you have the M's. The Shy Sox for Lucas. Cubbies for Erico and the Fish. Twinkies for Patrick. Amber with the Angels, the Halos. Dylan, you got the non-sport, non-baseball other spot. The Strohs for Rory. The Athletics for Rich. And the Giants for Allen. Brewers for Giants offer being thrown out there. Let's sort by column B. Let's make the size a little bit smaller right here so you can see all the teams on your screen all at once. Any trades? Eric O said that says the uh, fish are available. Brewers for Giants. Rangers Diamondbacks up for trade. <laughs> Amber's like, oh. <laughs> I just realized that. Amber's like, oh, I just got the Mariners and Angels. If you want to know what she's talking about. Watch video number eight. No thanks on the Brewers, says Alan. Anybody need Rangers Diamondbacks? Otherwise, we shall break. And here it is, folks. The last four boxes of Ginter right here. Marlins for Rangers, maybe? If not, we will we will continue on. We we will keep on keeping on, boys and girls. Uh, John Oakray John John O says no to EO, so it's time to move on O. Let's print, let's rip. Boo. Alright, good luck everybody. Pulling some nice stuff out of here, boys and girls. Looking forward to finishing off this final third of the case strong. Sorry, TJ. TJ's like, are we live? I was off. I was sitting offline for the last 30 minutes. I tried to type in the chat to refresh the page. I accidentally hit the stop streaming button instead of the start recording button a couple breaks ago or the break before last. All right, there's the final printout. So sorry about that. I feel like the camera lighting is not quite right here. Maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe there. That's a little bit better. All right. 
Oh, was the chat even frozen? So that maybe my final response was like, guys, you may need a refresh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, everyone. It happens. I'm actually surprised it doesn't happen more often. Those buttons are right next to each other. Which I don't know why. Maybe I could move where those two buttons are. The, literally, the stop streaming and the start recording button are right next to each other. One slip of the uh, one slip of the mouse. Now I will accidentally shut down the stream. Yeah, I think this is the hot fox, right? Yeah, those those are the glossy cards right there. So all of the glossy cards, of course, will ship. Oh, Eric, go looking for a Judge Jeter rip card. That'd be nice. I'm not sure what we're doing after this. Nothing is sold out after this, ladies and gentlemen. I see I see a handful of orders coming in. So we'll have this break done in about, oh, half an hour or so. And then after that, we'll go through some orders and then we'll be ready to see what we want to do after this. So, you can see the glossiness on the reflection right there. So these glossy cards, part of the glossy hot box, you can kind of you can see the difference already between the matte finish and that. So all of these will ship, just because they are especial. And this Freddie Freeman will ship. Piece of Freddie Freeman's lumber, nice. And that mini card that goes to Eric O and the Braves. And we'll save these, pile up those minis right here so we can uh, so we can take a look at the backs of those to see if any of those are numbered. I don't know why Luis Gohara was flipped around. Cole Calhoun. And there's Charlie Blackman. Got a bit of a, that purple pinstripe patch in there. Nice. Alan Murdoch with the Rockies. Anyone build actually building like any of these quirky sets like the like the moons? Maybe phobias. We'll save one of these glossy Otanis too. Yeah, there's Titan already. And there's poker champion Scott Bloomstein. 
Are you collecting moons, Amber? This is what's great. That's what's great about Alan and Ginter. This will go to the uh, non-baseball other spot. That's what's great about Ginter. There's all sorts of quirky things. Oh, all of them. That's a that's a good chase. You're trying to get the whole base. So the geek trying to get the whole set. All right, all right. That's a worthy. Uh, it's a worthy chase. This is a fun set. I always enjoy this set. Um, believe it or not, folks, I I don't buy too many like boxes on my own, like just for myself. I dream of Jeannie Bouchard. Um, there she is again. Hi. And then, uh, but when I do, it's Alan and Ginter. Like last year, I remember at the at the national last year. Unfortunately, we were we were unable to go this year, but we we're targeting next year for our glorious return. Um, we, uh, there's Otani right there. Before I, before we, we left town, I was, I made sure to get a, a box or two of Alan and Ginter to take home. We'll collect all these right here. We'll open all of those up all at once at the end. Um, so, uh, of course, I was going to do it. I was going to open up. I bought a couple boxes of last year's Ginter. I was going to do it at home. Of course, I didn't. Um, I did at the airport. I think all the guys had purchased some boxes, too. And so we uh, we were just – I think our flight got delayed, maybe. maybe Or maybe not. Maybe we got to the airport super early. Either way, we were just, <laughs> we were just chilling in the airport, just ripping open packs. I didn't get anything special. I think I got like a like a numbered mini and a couple of relics of something or other. It was fun though. There's like a lot of other goofy stuff. Like what I what I'm trying to do. I think there were some fun things in last year's set. Try to collect them together and maybe maybe frame them up or something like that. Put in a nice picture frame and hang it up at the at the old house. Um, National next year, yeah, it is in Chicago, as Mothra said. The timing just wasn't quite right for us this year. We're 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 trying to go, but a lot a lot of things got in the way. But definitely targeting next year. Chicago is a nice location too. I think it's a nice central location. I, I wanted to go to Cleveland. I wanted to go to the uh, you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Definitely wanted to go to. But yeah, Cleveland would have been nice because I think that that would be we would be able to kind of see because um, we got a lot of people we got a lot of Jaspie's customers who are in clients collectors that are in the Chicago area for sure. But we got a we got a good crew in Ohio and in Pennsylvania. So, oh, am I not? All right, so maybe I, maybe I won't do a trip specifically for that. Then maybe I'll just wait until. The Nationals back in Cleveland. Amber's saying you're not missing much at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, what's there, actually? Should I do Cooperstown instead? I don't know if the Nationals going to go to Hobart, Australia anytime soon. Oh, that's right, Amber. You're in North... I was born in uh, Northeast Ohio. I was born in uh, Warren, Ohio. But yeah, Alan and Ginter, all, always a fun product that we like to do every year. All right, good luck, boys and girls. There's Elvis Andrews for the Rangers. Marine National, where's the Marine National Monument? Oh, it just designates parts of the all right. parts of the ocean for research. I get it. Rangers relic for John Ogray with one of his last bought mojos. Elvis has left the building.
And we'll check the backs of those minis, of course, as always. Are they going to trade Bailamos? Let the rhythm take you over, Bailamos. Are they going to trade him away? So apparently, Zach Britton, there's speaking of the Yankees, apparently, uh, Zach Britton has uh, has been, a, I mean, as almost as official as you can get, traded from the Orioles to the Yankees. Does anyone know for who? Maybe some prospects, I think. So I know a lot of teams are looking to bolster their bullpens. I think Rysel Iglesias may be the next kind of big name out there that people want to chase. Joe P saying, "Go Diamondbacks." Um, are they playing? Are they playing each other? Oh, they are. Diamondbacks up 4-1 on the Cubbies. Three prospects, including Dylan Tate. What's going on with Dylan Tate? Dylan Tate was the... Dylan Tate was a first-round pick. I think the first first-round pick that, that UC Santa Barbara had. He came out of UC Santa Barbara, home of the... Home of the Gauchos, maybe? <laughs> um... But anyhow, they uh, he was a big pick. Then he got traded to the Rangers. Right, he's getting bumped around. Then he got – well, no, he was drafted by the Rangers. You're right, drafted by the Rangers, then traded to the Yankees. And I forgot what the deal was there. And then um, there's David Price for the Red Sox. That will be for Patrick Kay. And then he got traded again to the Orioles. So I'm I actually haven't really followed his his story so I'm not sure why he's being bounced around a little bit which is kind of odd. I don't think he's been injured, right? Oh, sorry, I need to look at the backs of these. All right, nothing there. Yeah, the uh Dodgers Phillies are tied at fours. Um, bottom of the 10th. One on two outs for the Phillies in the bottom of the 10th. Now, we, we, we want to check off a couple of things. This is our last break of Ginter, folks. We don't have any more cases. We want to check off a couple of things off of our Ginter uh, bingo card. Um, we have not seen a box... Loader autograph. They call it box loader. We haven't seen a box hopper autograph. We have not seen a book, which I feel like we should be, you know, this is break nine of Alan Ginter. We, we did a number of pick your teams as well. You would have think with all the boxes we've opened, we would have maybe seen one of those, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Mets in New York beat the Padres 6-3. Yankees shut out the Rays in Tampa Bay 4-0. Twins in Toronto shut out the Blue Jays 5-0. Miami beat the Braves 9-3. Marlins are actually, I think, ahead of, may just be a little bit ahead of the Mets. That's how far the Mets have fallen. It's a it's a final in Kansas City. They won 5-4 over the Tigers. Cardinals beat the Reds 4-2 in extras. Pirates beat the Indians 9-4. And uh, Baltimore edged out the Red Sox 7-6. In Baltimore, so the Orioles still still managing without a uh, without Manny without the service of Manny Machado and now Zach Britton. Dodgers are tied at fours, bottom of the tenth, top of the ninth. Um, Diamondbacks leading four one over the Cubs. Looking for insurance from Cubs. Cubs have one more shot at the bottom of the frame. Uh, Rangers beating the A's currently ten to five in Texas. Top of the eighth. Brewers and Nationals are tied at four in the top of the eighth. Brewers have the bottom of the eighth and the bottom of the ninth. They could win that one. Rockies um, Rockies down two in the bottom of the fifth in Colorado. Two nothing. And the White Sox are leading two nothing here in uh, here in Anaheim, here in Southern California. They're here. Two nothing over the Angels. 
top of the fourth. And Seattle and San Francisco are tied at ones in Seattle, top of the fourth. There's your score update. July 24th, 8.04 p.m. Pacific. This break brought to you by... Brought to you by Nationwide. Nationwide. It's on your side. There we go. One, one day we'll get sponsorships. There's Felix Hernandez for the Mariners. That'll go out to Amber. There you go, Amber. Has anyone? I, I feel like I w we would have heard this news if uh, if this happened. But has any team violated the mound visit or has exceeded the mound limits limit? <laughs> mound visit limit, and then actually gotten some sort of um, gotten in trouble for it. I don't think I've heard anything like that yet, right? Have games felt faster without with reduced mound mound visits? There's an autograph coming up. It's an autograph of there we go, Tyler Stevens, Jackson Stevens. How many Stevens does do the Reds have? Jackson Stevens. That goes to the Red Legs. Patrick Kate. They have Tyler Stevens. Robert C or no, though are those Stevenson's? Maybe it's Tyler and Robert Stevenson. And then a Jackson Stevens. Man. That's gonna and there's another Stevenson right here, but that's with a V. Just too much. Too many Stevensons. Trey Mancini. And then another mini is Evan Longoria. Got the Evan Longoria jersey for Allen and the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. There's Bill James, Sabermetrics, Guru. And let's take a look at the backs of these guys, see if we have any numbered cards here. Nope. Let's move on to the last box. Little T. All right. Joe P. reporting that Steven Souza Jr. and Anthony Rizzo are getting into it. Anthony Rizzo in the middle of some sort of controversy? Anthony Rizzo never does that, Joe P. He's never in the middle of something like that. All right, last box. Um, yeah, was it last year or two years ago, Mothra, where they did, where they had fish car? I, I did like those fish cards. We learned a lot about fishing or about fish that year. About trouts and lake trouts and steelheads and pikefish and salmons and rainbow trouts and all that stuff.
Oh, was it last year? There you go. The fish were last year. Bring back the fish. Goodwin Champions, I felt like, had fish too. Was that was that also last year? Or was that two years ago? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the consolation cards are really cool. So we're, we're, did they have the black, uh, the black and white? No, not the black and white. Did they have the um, the glow in the dark for the constellations too? I feel like that would be pretty cool. Oh, it was fish and fishing lures. Now, I'm I'm just I'm not very much of an angler, but uh, I do enjoy it. But would 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 for people who are experienced uh, uh, anglers, would you say that the the fish and the and and the correct lure were on those pictures? Or were they incorrect lures? Like someone would be like, "You would never, you would never fish for a, a, a pike with that." I don't know. You you'd be able to tell right away, Amber. I think if you look at those minis, you can almost you can almost see like the glow in the dark sort of uh, material, like kind of on like on it already. So like, you'd be able to visually see almost right away. Like I thought I'd miss it going through the minis, but we finally got one a, a few breaks ago, sometime last week, and it was pretty. It stood out pretty, pretty easily. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. And behind this Stevenson is Thomas Nito. That Nito Mini going to Mario and the Mets. There you go, Drift. Nice, nice. All right. Did they have dogs one year? I thought that wasn't wasn't that Goodwin Champions with with the dogs. Or was it Ginter? I don't know, I get those mixed up sometimes. But I do remember that there was a um, – the Cespedes also goes to Mario. That there was um, – whatchamacallit? Like a really short printed uh, surfing pug. There were like three surfing dog cards, one of which was a surfing pug. Kind of wanted to get that, but I think that was like short printed, so it would be like a million dollars to get. I was like – I was like, that's a cool car, but I don't know if I'd spend like a zillion dollars on it. All right, there's Todd Frazier for the Mets. That's another one for Mario and the Mets. Cespedes, I realize, he's got a, a some sort of calcification in his heel. So that he might be shut down for a good chunk of time to get that figured out. Crazy. Crazy. 
Joe P asking for discounts from uh, from Nightbot. Nightbot, Joe P does not exist for that. And Nightbot is not there for customer service. That's not what Nightbot does. Nightbot's just helping me answer some frequently asked questions. All right. Box toppers. We have not seen – so no book. We have not seen any box toppers. He needs to be reprogrammed. No, he's not going to be there for customer service. I'm here for customer service. You want, you want a human for customer service, not a robot. Give you that, we'll give you that personal touch, Joe P. There's Kershaw. So that goes to uh, Rich and the A's. This goes to Rory and the Dodgers. Then we've got Aaron Judge for the Yankees. That'll go to EO and the smaller box loader. It's going to be Rafael Devers. And there you have it, boys and girls, our last four-box break, our last break in general of Allen & Ginter Baseball. We did tons of these boxes. Thank you so much, everyone. We had a blast with it. And keep checking back for more fun stuff on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll break with you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.